Welcome back to another Weapon Bill video, and today I'm back with the Guandeo Prime and a build. This is my favorite polearm weapon in the game. I don't even know where to start, but you know, I have really good history with this weapon. Favorite of all time. You can't go wrong without Guandeo Prime. No way. If you don't have this weapon, you need to get this weapon in your inventory because it is highly recommended for you to have this weapon. Attack speed is 1. Critical chance is 32%. 2.4 decrypt multiplier and the 20% status. So high critical chance. We got decent crit multiplier and decent status. So all around, these are really good stats that we see here. We got 60 impact. Puncher is 12. 168 slash damage, which I love the most, which I always look for the slash damage. All right, to see if it's really good and is doing the most damage out of all impact and puncture. So that just looks good. 240 damage, that's not bad. That's actually good damage. All right, so the Guandale Prime, you can't go wrong with. Definitely get this weapon. So moving on to the builds, I have two builds to show you guys. Don't worry about the Corpus one. I don't know why that is there, but we're just going to pay attention to these two builds. I'm going to show you guys, but the first one is going to be starting off with a Prime Reach build. Of course, a lot of people like me love Prime Reach, and I don't know why you don't, but it's okay. It is okay. We are all different. We like different things, but we got some good mods are in here. So starting off with... The Unring Vicious Frost. I know a lot of people, why do you have Unring Mod in there? Well, it's to lower the viral effects so we can get more slash effects. So one isn't doing more than the other. I know a lot of you guys told me this. It's recommended. It is highly, um, if you lower it, lower the viral you know, effects or whatever it is, you need to lower that in order to have something proc you more. So... Uh, and yeah, I did some tests here and there, and obviously that does work. So thank you guys so much. Um, Buzzkill slash really good mod. Violent to make it, you know, a max one. Uh, just to have some good viral damage in here. Not bad, you know. Um, so 60% status and toxin. Buzzkill gives you 120 slash damage. As you see, is around 369. Weeping Wounds, really good mod. Give us more higher status. So, you know, when it's when we're going through the combo multiplier and stuff, that's really good. Blood Rush, of course, is needed. Berserker Fury, needed mod. Condition Overload, needed mod, of course. 80% melee damage affecting any status type on the target. So, that is an amazing mod that you're going to need on your build. Now, I really wanted to aim for better critical chance but that wasn't really much doable because we this is a prime reach build so we have to go for some prime reach you know to hit our target from a little less of a distance some good range but uh yeah like i said it was impossible so the next build is going to have something that'll uh blow your mind and make the build way 10 times stronger than this one so this is the second build again viral however it's a little different because there is no prime reach so i decided to add in another spot of a mod to replace prime reach which is going to be sacrificial steel because it gives you 220 percent critical chance all right two times heavy attacks blah blah don't care all right that's the only thing that is making our um weapon better right now just having this and the same mods that we have on again. Uh, so this is going to have a lot of non-prime reach users happy. Which this is going to do crazy slash damage with some crazy freaking red crit. As you're seeing right now. You can just see the slash effects going crazy on red crits. Doing a lot of freaking slash damage.
And I forgot Nezen moves way too fast. And yeah, took them all out. Um, well, not that one. But that's the end of... Yeah, that's not going to be the end of her. But you get the picture here. Really, really good um, mods for this weapon. And uh, should have definitely added Buzzkill in here when... I did a, this build a long time ago. I didn't think the slash demon would be really that good. Um, but, yeah. When I threw Buzzkill in here, just made the weapon really freaking better. Taking Guandeo Prime to the still path, this weapon is just amazing. I, like I said, you gotta get this weapon. One of the best pole arms in the game. I don't know about Orthos Prime. I don't think, I think it definitely outmatches Orthos Prime. For sure, which we could have compared it, but I think most definitely it outmatches because it doesn't have higher critical chance than the Guandeo. Most definitely. The Guandeo got way better um, critical chance than it. So I think the critical chance on the Orthos Prime is at 24 and the Guandeo has 34. So yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, 32. So no, there is no way that. Orthos is definitely up there with Guandale. It's just Guandale's performing way better. Alright, doing way better red crits. Alright, doing way better slash damage. Probably most definitely. Not really for sure that much that if they're equal with slash damage. But, hey, I, I just know that, you know, Guandale has slash damage and critical chance. So, I don't think I'm going with the Orthos Prime. Definitely the Guandale for me. But let me know what you guys think about the builds in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.